Okay, so now we're going to get into a little bit more difficult part, but don't worry, don't freak out. It's not horrible, it's just brand new. So anytime you have two complex numbers of the form a plus bi and a minus bi, these are gonna end up being complex conjugates. Notice one's a plus, one's a minus. Um, the product of two complex conjugates is always a real number. The reason for that is because you end up with a difference of squares. If you take a plus bi times a minus bi, then when you FOIL, when you take your a times your a, that gives you an a squared. When you take a times a negative bi, that's negative a bi. Then you take bi times a, another a, that's another a bi, but this one's positive. And then you take bi times a negative bi, you have negative b squared i squared. So what you can do from here though is you can simplify by using your rules for your addition and also for your i squareds. This negative abi and this positive abi are going to cancel. But what does this i squared do? Well if that i squared is a negative 1, which means, here's what I do, I like to cancel that out, make this sign a plus. So what you really end up with is an a squared plus b squared. And the a squared and b squared end up being real numbers which give you a nice solid answer. Now this is handy when we get into problems like example six where we need to simplify. You cannot leave an imaginary number in your denominator. You can have an i in the numerator but you cannot have one in the denominator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three plus two i and we're gonna multiply it by its complex conjugate which is a three minus two i. And where you do the bottom, you must also do the top so when you distribute on the top, you're going to take this 5i times a 3, which will give you a 15i minus, then you got to take 5i minus a 2i, so you have a 10i squared. Now on the bottom, we get to do our shortcut. Remember, we have a difference of squares on the bottom, so you take your first term, and you square it, so you get a 9, minus you get 2i squared. Now if you take a 2i and square that, you have to square the 2 and you have to square the i. So you get a 4i squared. So from here what you need to do is you need to make sure that you can simplify your i squareds now. So if you remember i squared is equal to a negative 1, this i squared cancels makes us a plus 10. This i squared cancels makes us a plus 4. So what we want to do finally is simplify our problem. And you always want to write whatever is uh, your real part of your expression first. So I'm going to put the 10 first plus 15i. And then on the bottom we have 9 plus 4, which is 13. So if you look at your 10, 15, 13, none of them have anything else in common. They don't have any common factors you can't reduce anymore. Your answer ends up being 10 plus 15i over 13. So that's simplified. We don't have any i's in the denominator. So if we want to do the same thing here, we're going to skip b and come back to it in a minute. We're going to go to part c, where in this case we're going to multiply top and bottom by a 1 plus i. And we've got to foil top here. So if we take 2 times a 1, that gives us a 2, brain buster. 2 times an i gives us a 2i, and I'll multiply all these ones and twos. That's just kind of a tough business here. And then you take an i times an i, you get i squared. So on the bottom, you have a difference of squares. One squared is a one minus i squared is an i squared. So let's simplify our i squareds. This is going to become a negative one. This i squared is going to become a negative one. So what you really have is a 2 plus 2i plus a 1i minus 1 on top. And on the bottom, you have a 1 minus a negative 1. Well, that 1 minus a negative 1 becomes one giant plus sign. So you really get a 1 plus 1 on the bottom. So your final solution, you add your real parts together. 2 minus 1 gives you a 1 plus 3i all over 2. 
that is going to be your solution. So for part B, what we want to do is we're going to uh, multiply top and bottom and get rid of this i, but notice how this is not a 2 plus i. So we don't have a binomial on the bottom, we have a monomial. So we can't multiply by the conjugate, and this is important to know the difference. Okay, You can't multiply by the conjugate, you can't say, oh, multiply by negative 2i. No, all you have to do in this case is just multiply top and bottom by just an i. And if you do that, when you multiply along the top, well, you are taking an i times the 5 plus i, so that gives you a 5i plus i squared. And on the bottom, a 2i squared, like so. So we're going to go through and cancel out our i squared. So this makes us a negative 1 here. This i squared makes us a negative 2. 